thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I'm officially now an Ana Luisa brand ambassador, so you'll be seeing some videos from me in the future. I worked with Ana Luisa a couple months ago, and I have not stopped wearing the jewelry that I got then, and I'm very pleased with the quality, so I'm very excited to be working with them. Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand with a focus on transparent business practices in an industry where it's not usually the case. So they use recycled materials when they can and all the CO2 used in production is counterbalanced leading to a carbon neutral impact. So you can feel very good about buying ethically made jewelry. They're currently having 20% off site-wide as part of their summer sales, so I would definitely recommend checking it out. And these are three of the pieces that I got. You'll see them throughout this vlog because they're just so easy to wear and put on in everyday life and they just kind of go with a lot of things. This necklace called Hannah was made in collaboration with a booktuber called Hannah. <laughs> And I pair this with the necklace that I got a few months ago called Yusuf, which is also by another favorite YouTuber. I also got these two pair of earrings that go perfectly with my hair. So if you want to check Ana Luisa out and shop the summer sale, you can click the link in the description and the pieces that I've showed, I would also recommend. So thank you again so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Thank you. 
So I spoke about this briefly in one of my past vlogs, but I'm taking summer classes because they were offered for free from the new school because of COVID. I go to Parsons to study photography, minor in art history, and I'm behind on some credits. I'm supposed to uh, graduate next year, 2022 spring, I'm graduating, but I need credits still in program electives and I don't have like any and I need like a billion and I don't know how I'm gonna do it so I had to take summer classes but they're only the like program electives that we have to take are just like ridiculous I'm like half of them I would never be able to like survive and get good grades from so anyways I there's one for the summer called getting to know materials um, and I love ceramics and I haven't done ceramics since high school as many people that's their story but um, I decided to do we could use whatever material we want it's kind of like up to us and the teacher is really relaxing and chill and I'm just grateful for that because I don't need extra stress in my life I also have an art history minor as I previously mentioned and that I have one credit to fulfill and the, th the things so the last credit that i have to get for that class has to be within a certain like level so i'm at the 4000 level but the only classes offered in the 4000 level are ass i don't want to take them but i have to so i found one of them um, being offered in the summer so if it's expedited in the summer then i don't have to suffer for too long i have to suffer harder but not as long um, which really sucks because I really love those classes, but like I love art history classes that I've taken there. This one's gonna be painful. It's philosophy. No thanks. Rather not, but I must. So we shall persevere. But this getting to know materials class will fulfill one of my program electives and I'm pleased about that because this is super easy and I am having fun doing what I want to do. So I'm making tiles um, like so. This is some very nicely fleshy colored Sculpey because I was using white regular Sculpey. Sculpey. Uh, and then I ran out and it was like very, I would put off having to do it because it would get all over my nails and then I couldn't get it off. Like it like coated, it was not good. But this one, it's like it's flesh colored. I think it's more for like making f people and faces and like characters and stuff. Who cares? I'm using it for this. It's a little bit harder to like work out, so it's harder to like roll out. But then once it's in this, it's in this state, um, putting this stuff on top, like this, is very easy and very a lot less stressful. So I like this. I'm enjoying myself. Um, I don't actually know when this class ends, so I just keep, I just have to keep chugging along. I should probably check on that one. But you know, as we know, I won't. Shout out to my teacher for being really nice and very easy. Watch me get a bad grade at the end of the semester. No, I won't. I'm doing my work, don't worry. I'm just, last semester was rough and I thought I was doing everything right and apparently I wasn't. So still bitter about it, you know? And I'm no expert on these materials and you know, I'm probably not using it properly, but who cares? I get my end result that I want, so leave me alone if you're gonna be one of those people that are gonna be like you're doing it wrong um and that's like the fun part about this is that you get to know these materials uh in the way that you want to you don't have to do it in the conventional way and that's kind of what my teacher is talking about um and we had a guest speaker today in class no okay no Yeah, so anyways, the art that I'm doing is culturally related to my background. Um, I am Mayan, half Mayan. I was born and raised in Belize, so Mayan culture and Belizean culture runs through my veins. Um, I get a lot of questions if I speak Spanish. No, I don't. I do not know any Spanish. And the old man across the street from me who loves my dog always tries to speak to me and I don't know what he's saying. Um, and I'm going to have to tell him that I'm moving soon, so... Hopefully that goes well. Anyways, as I was saying, I went home recently and you know, it always fuels me and um, my childhood home, we have a little like dip pool on our third floor and the backsplash of it, my dad always like sourced all of his materials from like local creators 
even though he's a white man, he like knew what he was doing, you know? He was really instilling the culture within me and my sister. And so the backsplash of the pool, like the tile, had these little, like they they just looked like this. And I just think about that a lot. I'm like, I just want one, but I can make it because it's my culture and it's important for people especially in Belize because our culture is beat out of us by the colonizers. Colonization is still happening to this day. And yeah, anyway, so a lot of, you know, the youth are reclaiming their culture. And I was like, you know what? I have the space, I have the platform. I should be doing this. I should be talking about it because it's my culture. That is what I'm working on right now. Um, that is what I've worked through people being like you're not this enough shut up just shut up okay done don't ever speak again so yes i'm very excited about these i've made so far four that i have like painted and three i've glazed so they got the shiny top on it this one is trash this is the first one i made mistakes were made i have two that are like this i just need to bake them but i want to like batch bake them so that I can conserve electricity or something. I don't know. Baking, it's hot, okay? I shouldn't be having the oven on for too long. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Who would have thought me sidetracked? Uh, I did a little Q&A on my Instagram story the other day. And because I haven't done one in a while. Oh, it was also, I've been on YouTube for five years. Uh, it was my YouTube anniversary on July 16th crazy stuff and so I, I didn't really have anything planned because I didn't even realize it was July 16th because I have so much anxiety within my body it's literally what's the word like it hinders me from doing things throughout the day um but I didn't do anything special and so I was like you know what I'll just do a little q and I'd also been seeing a bunch of the creators that I like to watch doing q and so I was like you know what I want to do one too um I always feel, I've been like this weird dump where I'm like, nobody wants to watch my stuff, nobody cares. But then I got so many questions and I was like, hey, this is what I needed and I didn't even know. So thank you so much. If you follow me on Instagram, if you have an Instagram, if you're able to use Instagram um, and send in a question, I really appreciate it. Um, they were very fun to answer. But yeah, anyways, it's been pretty hard for me to film the past few days because uh, again, with the, the debilitating anxiety, is it that intense? I I was like try to like downplay it, but you have to like own up to it and recognize that these things are happening, but you know. Nah. I'm like, no, it could be worse. We all, we've all been there. We know it. Um But anyways, what was the point there? What the fuck? Oh, so I haven't really filmed that much within the past recent day. So that's why that's it has not, it's been a little bit difficult. Okay, that's great. Thank you.